This is Riot LOL. Omar is his real name. He's a 20 year old kick streamer, TikToker, Twitter slash X user, whatever you want to call it. And here's him. So you part Nigerian? No. That's clearly, let's say, not of age to expose herself live on his stream. But before we get there, let me tell you about a website called Kick. Kick is a live streaming competitor to Twitch, started by these three dudes, one of them being a live streamer named Trainwrecks, who left Twitch to start Kick because of their inconsistent policies. Now, Kick is fairly new and more lenient on what you can and can't do on there. Okay. That's why some of the most controversial figures have made Kick their new home, giving Kick this persona of being the place where the troublemakers, What's up, the Shady? rebels, the place for free speech where anyone can say anything and anything can happen. Hey, even people in my field, some Omi TV and Omegle creators have also moved over to Kick. Also, Omi TV is an Omegle alternative that everyone's been using since the original Omegle shutdown. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna call it Omegle because it's basically Omegle 2.0. But let me paint you a picture. Omi Creators Omi on TV. that live stream Omegle content have to cover the screen because it's always unpredictable what you're gonna see on there. Not gonna lie, some of the things you see on Omegle could get your channel terminated just like that. It gives you a little bit of a perspective on how Kick operates. All right, now let's talk about Riot LOL. When you first enter Riot in a bunch of these Kick Creators live streams, you get a warning saying you must be 18 or older to view this content. Keep that in the back of your mind going forward for the rest of this video. Fair okay. warning, this is going to get very serious very quickly, and I definitely understand if you want to sit this one out. But here we go. Riot live streams for three to seven hours every single night sometimes even longer. His content consists of just trying to find girls on Omegle. Like it's literally the main focus of his content for hours on end. And after going through dozens of his VODs, you start to notice a pattern. Hey. Hello, tits. my name's Omar. Uh, nice to meet you. Um, Hi, Omar. Nice to meet you, tits. Where are you from, tits? Hello, tits. Hey. Oh my, tits. Hello, tits. My name's Omar. Nice to meet you, tits. Where are you from, tits? All right, let me tell you uh, where I'll take you on a date. Let me know if it hits. All right, uh, I'll pick you up. I'll pick you up. I'll pick you up. So I'll pick you up and then we'll get some we we'll get some sushi. Uh, we we'll get some sushi. We we'll get sushi. We we'll get sushi. All right, and then I don't, I don't really fuck with like boring dates. You know what I'm saying? They gotta be like fun, right? Not awkward, not corny. I don't like the boring dates. You know where it just feels like unorganic and it's just like cringy and awkward. So I like to do something to break the ice. Oh, probably like a carnival. 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 A carnival. Okay. So like play some games, ride some rides. You ride me. And then, um, and then, like, I'll win you a cute bear. He tries to, quote unquote, riz up these girls by saying the same lines over and over again, just so that he can eventually get their Snapchats, so that he can build up his Snapchat roster. Dude, my roster's actually nice. Nice. Uh, And that's it. That's his content. Is what I thought until I saw this interaction. He started the conversation off by doing the same old shtick. The more they talked, the more the girl was opening up to him, telling him about a toxic and abusive ex she had. I'm gonna spare you the details. And let me remind you, she has no idea that she's saying this in front of a live stream full of hundreds of people. And okay. the worst part is that she seemed very out of it. She was slurring her words, jumping from one conversation to the next, pausing in the middle of talking just to examine the room while blinking. So that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Wow. Anyway. Wait, just wait. Oh, nothing. And after that, she told Riot that she was drugged by someone at a concert that night. Can I tell you something? I was uh, at a festival, but no, I, not at a festival, but at a, at a concert, you know, Foo Fighters? They, they came in my, in where I live right now. This guy, he came to me and he gave me this kind of cake. He, he said like, hey, take these, you're gonna feel so good. So I ate them with my friends, but I ate one completely. There was a wound in this same sh uh. I still feel f***ed up. And really, yeah. Whatever. But the entire time she was saying all that, Riot was constantly looking at the kick chat. And all they were saying was, Z, 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 Z. She's yapping like crazy. She's hot, but talks too much. Omar doesn't even seem amused. And after seeing all of those comments, it sparks Riot to say this. All right, dude, listen, I'm not gonna lie. I can't do this anymore, bro. The curiosity is just in like, it's like spinning in the back of my head. It's killing me. Like, dude, listen, let's, let's go. Fit check. Come on. Spit check. I'm like, I'm not gonna lie. That's like enough talking, bro. I'm like, uh, I'm like about to fall asleep. Yeah, let's go. I don't want to get too Wait, it's like getting so hot in my room. So, uh, you know, I'm shirtless. Your shirt is on. This is a really tough situation, you know? He proceeds to cover the screen. We should get on the same page here, you know? Can I see your <laughs> like, <laughs> Why am I doing that? Because I'm fucking high that I'm doing that, but it's a fucking embarrassing. Like, uh, set it up. I'm... What? Let me see. Damn. Holy what? I mean, you should get a fat ass, right? I mean, like, at this point, kind of like, you know. Can I see it? And then the audio goes silent for a few minutes. And then he comes back and does this. Bang! 
<laughs> I'm the GOAT! Join the Discord, boys. I wish there was a way I could, like, cut out my version, because, like, I'm not gonna lie, chat. Oh, God, I was about to risk it all. I, I get done around here, boys. Is that fire? I'm not gonna lie, that was the baddest girl I've ever bagged. What you just witnessed is the main reason why I'm making this video. He goes on Omegle just to get girls to expose themselves so that he can secretly screen record it and post it onto a Discord server under an NSFW channel. That is his content. And it's all done live on kick. And the worst part is, that was an example of a girl that's of age. Here's one that's not. Overall team, and I didn't spend a single pe Oh my. Oh my god, my two like out. What the hell? Yeah, like, I mean, like, why are they not more out is a real question. I mean, like, what time is it? You know, it's already demon hours. Kid. Wait, listen, how old are you? I'm 19. Oh, I'm 16. <laughs> you said 18? Yeah, yeah. He has this little trick that he likes to do. It's kind of. Honestly, not surprised that this is how it comes. Kicking Omega content first started popping off. What did you expect, bro? You got niggas on the internet, horny as shit, ready to do whatever to talk to a girl, and you out here showcasing that. I mean, it's the most degenerate type of shit, bro. Kind of a manipulation tactic where he goes like, you're 18, right? As if it's gonna magically turn this kid into an adult. But uh, last time I checked, that's just not how that works. You said 18? Yeah, yeah. You're 18, yeah? Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. So, um, I don't see an issue here. And just like before, he proceeds to cover the screen. It's like, uh, you know, it's kind of like, I don't know, it looks really hot in your room. Like, you need to, like, like take anything off or, like, uh, damn. Holy. Wait, can you, like, can you, like, shake him a little bit? Damn. Dude, out of my Snapchat. I'm not going to lie. Holy, you're bad. All right. Okay. You out of my Snapchat. Please tell me you out of my Snapchat. I'm going to right after All right, all right, all right. All right, bro, peace. Good night. And when he comes back. Oh, my God. <laughs> Chat, you said she was 18. Here you on for? Nah, Chat, I'm not going to lie. That was a... Dub. I got like two clips of them. Bro, like she just like took off her shirt. We we're just vibing. Like, uh, yeah, well, like, I didn't even know. No, nah, that was crazy, chat. Holy. F that's like, I'm not even trolling. The best dub I've gotten yet. All right, chat, it's in there. It's in there. Join the Discord. Let me know if they're W fire or mid. Or chat, they were nice, right? Go look at the Discord. We just got a huge dub. I could have brought that. I, honestly, dude, chat, if I wasn't streaming, I could have got that to do everything. Chat, like, dude. Everything, bro. There's no care. So, Omi TV is no basically remorse. Omega 2.0. To him. It's just content. When in reality, what he just did is, and I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, possession and distribution of CP. All done live on kick. And to all the weirdos out there that are like, well, the age of consent is actually 16. Um, I got two answers for you. Riot, who is based in Miami, as he publicly states on his profiles and also on his streams, the age of consent there is 18. And regardless of the Romeo and Juliet laws, where in some states, 16 is the age of consent, 18 is the age for pornographic material in all states. So any age under 18 is CP. And it doesn't matter if the girl takes them and sends them. It is still CP. And two, if you really want to be on that age of consent is 16 thing, uh, well, just roll the clip. I like your glasses. I mean, they're fake as fuck, but they look good on you. They're not me. Are you nearsighted or farsighted? Far okay. Far. That's good then. So like when we're up close, like you went in for a kiss, like you want like headbutt me or some dumb, you know? Right, you're actually like, really pretty though. You're like wifey material. I'll take you on a date, you know? Not gonna lie. All right, rate that date one through ten. It's ten. Wait, how old are you? Oh my god. You gonna skip if I tell you my? I mean, like you're eighteen, right? <laughs> Wait, say your age. You're gonna skip though. Would you say your age? Fifteen. Okay, so I'm gonna. <laughs> Yo. All right, okay. Um, hey, cops, I promise. Oh like, I swear, age is just a number. I'm gonna ask you again, okay? I'm 19. How old are you? 18. You're 18. Nod your head if you're 18. Uh, all right, uh, you know, all right, can I get like, a fit check? All right, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I'm a really transparent guy. I just kind of like skip all the bullshit, you know, because it's like, nah, it's just like a waste of time. To be honest, can you just like, okay, when you stood up, I was really only looking at one thing, to be honest. Uh, can you just like show me your awesome shows? I know it sounds crazy, but if you think about it, this could lead into something great. You know? I'm not here. I don't do that. Word. Damn. All right then. Well, I mean, like, wait, why not? Not like right away. All right. Well, let's, let's just wait a second. All right. So you know, it's been like not right away, and the curiosity is just killing. <laughs> All right, dude. This is what it like. Can I just hear it, bro? Like real. Thank you for cool. All right. Chad, that's 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 what I do for you guys, bro. This man pressured a 15-year-old to flash for them, his viewers that for some reason want to see. More than likely, majority of them are adults too. That also, we have no idea how old Riot's viewers are behind the screen. So they could be a bunch of toddlers or a bunch of grown adult men, which is 
concerning in so many ways. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Riot streams for hundreds of people every single night who, let's be honest, are only there for one thing and one thing only. The girls. Not the creator. The girls. If you remove the aspect of girls from more than half of these kit creators, they would have no content. They would not know what to do. Therefore, their views would go down. Besides being an absolute annoyance in society and doing or saying the most controversial things just to get their five seconds of fame on Twitter for the day, if they're not doing any of that, well, there better be a girl on the screen because then these talentless creators would have nothing. Now, it's one thing to work with these creators, which I don't know why you would do that to each their own, but it's one thing to work with these creators by collabing or doing these e-date streams that a lot of them love to do. But it's another thing to not even know that the explicit stuff that you did for someone was being live streamed secretly screen recorded and posted elsewhere on the internet and i would add an additional level of it's fear. crazy because what if that little girl's peoples or somebody who went to school with her leaked that shit if you are like what's wrong with niggas bro at some point and i i really believe that we constantly as a society keep opening pandora's box because it started with the internet and then it started with the whole like oh everybody's got a right to feel the, the, like like i'm telling you pandora's box was open and it just keeps getting worse bro a child having now it's ai it's just about to go crazy three bro. examples from riot stream each interaction only lasting around five to 15 minutes. He Can we speak on how niggas from Atlanta are retarded? You talking about a nigga who faked his death? Streams for three to seven hours a night. And he's been doing this for five plus months now. So it's safe to say that there's multiple girls. Actually, no, I'm gonna say it. Multiple victims that right now don't know. They don't know that they were on his streams. Riot has lots of connections and knows a lot of Kick streamers, slowly trying to grow his audience bigger and bigger on Kick's platform. He's even started to get recognized on Omegle. Wait, 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 wait. You know me? You watch my streams? And what strikes me about Kick streamers is their sense of humor. When I meet girls in person, I get nervous and sh how do I get better? You gotta just push yourself. You gotta like, be like, oh sh now it's time. To if it gets really bad, just get the rupees. No, what the f I thought that's where you're going with that. Can we get married? Uh, I'm gonna take you. Don't I make me use rupees, please. Like, I, I ran out of them. Like, let's just make this easy, okay? Since I'm like famous on fans, would you like to hop on? You know, we make a cool little movie. Yeah, absolutely not. I that's just ran out of rupees, okay? Like, let's just make this nice and easy. Where the f is my sleepover invite? She burned it. It's okay, I was gonna slip in while you're sleeping either way. Hold on. <laughs> I accidentally read you. Nah, I'm tweaking, bro. You think I actually beat women? <laughs> that's f***ing weird. Like, to make a joke about, like, someone beating women? Like, no, no, that's weird. Stop being soft, bro. It's a f***ing joke. I'm not soft. I'm saying it's a little weird. I mean... Yeah, no, all dark humor is weird. But that's the funny in it. So what was I supposed to say? Beating a woman doesn't really, like... No, I'm saying we were f***ing with you. We played some class curry on you. It was funny, because we were sitting on a call... He saw me talking to you because I was screen sharing. So I was like, dude, just quit there. Like, and then, yeah. And then, I don't know. He labels this as dark humor. And they just think it's 20, 2011, bro. When you are actively trying to build a community as an influencer. And this is how you influence your audience. If you guys want, honestly, the script that will work a thousand times out of ten, it will never fail. No matter on the girl, the situation, no anything. Textbook Riz, it works every time. You grab a little, um, I'm not going to say it. You curry that into a cup and you just give it to her, you know? And then from there, it's cake. I'm kidding. Holy, that was crazy. He's so comfortable saying this every single night on his streams that it legitimately gets me concerned about any girl that gets remotely near him. He also has a private Discord server for any person that makes clips from portions of his kick streams and posts them to TikTok. Hey, by the way, Chad, if you do not know, I have this Discord where we chill off stream. It's called Alto Hood, okay? We put, um, so it's just like my mods and a whole bunch of clippers. It's where I literally, I end stream, I go in there and we just kick it. We just do like, I'll do like Omi Discord streams are f***ing crazy. You gamble a little bit. So if you want in the Discord, you, you know, just make a little TikTok page. Post some of my clips. Each video they get 75k views. I cash that be like 30 bucks. He hypes it up as a place where he can be more. Each of them that get 75k views, I cash app you 30 bucks. First and foremost, that's a scam. That is a scam. <laughs> he is finessing the fuck out of little niggas. I mean, you don't get much off a of, uh, TikTok for that anyway. Only 30. I'm not gonna lie. Actually, it's not that bad. Only 30. And you're not making 30 dollars off a 75k view video on TikTok, so it's not that bad of a scam. TK, TK, you matching him? You want me match? Every 75k video, you feel me? It's like forty dollars for 80. But you gotta understand how many niggas are monetized on TikTok. And then the video also has to be a minute long. Hey man, new method. I send everybody who get a 75k at least video of me on TikTok $30. New method. New method. Oh my god, hold on. 
20 minutes later. Shit. Oh. Relaxed, where he doesn't have to worry about saying or doing the wrong thing on stream. If this is how he acts on Omegle <coughs> on stream, it scares me to think how he acts on Omegle off stream. He even has a running gag that he and his chat do every single night. And these are from one-off occasions where Riot tells these girls that he's a streamer. Wait, chat, one in the chat if you're smashing, two if you're passing. Well, someone said three. Oh, no, three? Oh my bad. god. It's really bad. Why? Chat. Three is big? <gasps> that, so they like you a lot, apparently. There's a lot of threes in here. What is three? I need to know what three is. Don't worry about it. Oh my god, chat, it's just an inside joke. Don't worry about it. Three means, uh, think of a word that rhymes with grape. Oh. So I think they like you. Like, they like you a lot. Stop saying three, chat. You wanna know what three means? It's crazy. I don't know how this inside joke started, bro, but what's like a word that rhymes with great? Uh, so everyone uh, spamming three, I think really likes you, you know? Like, really likes you. Uh, oh my god, dude, we gotta, dude, that three trend is crazy, bro. We literally started, bro. I bet most streamers are so confused now, because I'm, I swear to god, I've been opening chats, and I've been seeing threes when baddies come up, and it, the, the streamer doesn't even know what the fuck it means. They spam three for any girl that they think is capable. How is that in any way funny? So it's where not. is Kick in all of this? There is actual criminal activity happening on their platform and they're not doing anything about it. Riot yeah, is a verified gone. account on their website, by the way. So I feel like Kick should be cook. quick to notice this. Where is Kick staff members to moderate their site and ban him instantly? Well, luckily there are Kick staff members. But Riot is friends with them. Bro, has Kick on his side. Oh God, I got Andre on my side. Hey, Andre, are you still in the chat? I have a question. All right, Andre, if I had Kick on stream, would I get banned? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Our goal is to keep everyone safe. I agree, man. Chat. Now read the first letter of every word. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Riot is so good with them that he's comfortable doing his brand of humor directly to their face in chat. I I'm always on my Ooh. best behavior, Andre, don't worry. <laughs> oh, I remember you. Hey, Andre's in my chat. Can you shake it? What? Andre said he's me. Shake some Quote, word for word. He's 15, dude. See, like I Yo, heard... Andre, really? She's 15. Andre, she's 15. <laughs> what the f Andre? Stop asking these girls to get the kid. So these are Riot's true colors, and it's all done live every single night on Kick. Now, why would Kick give their stamp of approval to people that think this is funny? Chad, those are not loyal. Don't ever cuff a girl, okay? Oh my, what's your name? Nah, the timer is just the hey, length of stream. I'll turn it off if it confuses you, though. <laughs> All right, that's this nigga corny, bro. Now, I a lot of content creators are corny, bro. A lot of content creators, content isn't really content. It's just them doing stupid shit until somebody like watches. You feel me? Like it is. Had to what blur it out is. who Riot was actually talking about because it was a baby. In <laughs> Yo, I'm kidding. Hey, listen, you're really pretty, but can I talk to the one in the middle? <laughs> Yo, I'm kidding. All right, that's insane. Yo. Now, I had to blur out who Riot was actually talking about. Because it was a baby. An actual infant. This type of content, this creator, Kick as a platform in general, has, in my opinion, gone on for long enough. It has shown itself time and time again to be a platform full of dangerous and harmful people. There are more creators like Riot out there. But that's a story for, a for another day. But in the meantime, let's catch Riot. Because I have a few questions I would love to ask him. I tried to connect with him on the original Meagle, and this happened. Really, dude. No f***ing way, bro. Now that I got your attention, can I ask you a few questions, man? Yeah, sure. I know that girl, by the way. I saw her before, but yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, man. How, how are you doing? How's the kick streams doing? Oh, what the f***? Yeah, how's the kick streams doing? So before I could even get to my main question, he skipped me. So I guess that's it. Okay. But do you remember that girl from earlier? The girl who said that she was drugged at a party and Riot still got her to expose herself? Well, I managed to find her on Omegle, minutes after her interaction with Riot. And I told her everything about- Wait, you found- Okay, wait, hold on, okay, wait. Minutes after her interaction with Ryan, you found her? Him in his stream. She still seemed clearly this out nigga of it Batman? And, uh, <laughs> I... I'm like, yo, what? He a W fed, but like, that's still insane work, bruh. Couldn't help but feel so terrible for her. She was so easily manipulated. But she told me that if she were to connect with Riot again, that she would give him a piece of her mind. And I'm proud to say that she did that. Dude, why are you still on here? <laughs> okay, first of all, like, I'm not fucking dumb. What do you mean? I'm not dumb. You know, I was watching your life. What? How'd you find my life? I found your life. 
Wait, yeah. how though? Oh, you, you, you like know. it? She was fire or no? I just want to acknowledge how dumb of a question this is. You decided to, no? to unknowingly expose herself in front of a live stream and then have her body put onto a Discord server. How do you think she's going to react? Uh, she was fire or no? Mid, good. It. You fucking are a psychopath. Oh, yeah, for real? Yeah, and you shouldn't be doing that. Wait. I don't get it. Hmm, interesting. Now, this is the moment. This is the exact moment that I feel like should be studied by so many human psychologists. Because right now, Riot's brain cannot compute why this girl possibly wouldn't like his stream. He's also trying to figure out who could have possibly have told her that he's a streamer. And in the craziest display of luck and perfect timing, as he's still in the state of confusion, guess who connects with him again? Yo, man. Nigga, see, nigga seen the nigga pop up like Chris Hansen. It was like. Suavemente. That was the guy? That was the same girl that you saw, bro. Skip there. And now, everything makes sense to him. He finally connected the dots. And because of that, he proceeds to close on Eagle, listen to his Spotify playlist, and plays Fortnite. But during that entire time, he's playing Fortnite. He's texting his people. Hey, chat, what's that YouTuber's app? The guy that you guys kept saying, um, I kept skipping him. What's his app? Something about chickens. No, it's not even that. It's just like, I'm not even being entertaining either right now. I'm just, that, that idea of news bugging me out, you know? And he ends the stream like this. I'm gonna go clear my head, bro. Like, this is actually bad. Um. Yeah, call Todd. They got the nigga. Ah! Nigga scared. Nigga heart dropped. Nigga seen the nigga pop out like Chris Hansen and skipped him, bro. Man, like it's really, really bad, bro. I'm like low-key scared. Oh my god. I love you guys, okay? Um, I love you guys. That's all I can say. I'm not gonna rate anyone. I'm just gonna go to bed. Peace out, chat. He proceeds to remove the NSFW channel from his Discord, delete all of his previous stream VODs, and stayed radio silent for a few days. All of this happened a while ago, because I was waiting to see if he would change his content in any way. And, uh... No, N not at all. He still tries to seek out girls on Omegle and tries to get their snaps. He still asks these girls to pop one, but now he just doesn't have an NSFW channel to put it in. It's just for his eyes only, as if that makes it any better. Right, can I see your I'm a high screen, hold on. On God, on God, I hit it on my life. Look. See, I swear to God. His chat needs to frequently remind him to ask the girls their age before getting into inappropriate questions. It's bad when you never, <laughs> hey, maybe like remind me, like you guys never remind me to check the age. You have one job. I always look at trap. All you have to do is just remind me, but you never do it, bro. But, alas, here's him talking to a 17-year-old, connecting with this girl on Omegle. Oh, sorry. Was... You look like the dude from Victorious. Heck? Oh, you could be my Jade. So how old are you? I'm 17. Gulp. Yeah. FBI, I swear I'm innocent. I didn't do it, bro. Hold on. I'm looking nice. something up. Um... But pronunciation from, like, Netflix. Having a long and inappropriate conversation with her. Our babies would be cute. What are you writing? Yeah, you book? There. Yeah. Whatever your heart desires. Yeah, just, just jump it, you know what I'm saying? First day. How many bodies do you have? Another way you can get your ass fatter is um, I heard squats on my face. Did you have snap or just IG? Yeah, I also got snap. You no, know, I was actually born with like a superpower for real. What's your superpower? Okay, I can guess any girl's brow size. I don't want to make it like sexual, but like go like this. Wait, so you're, okay. you're, you're a virgin too? Dude, you have to come to America, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I live in Miami, so you would love it. Alright, you're a virgin, but like hypothetically, if you weren't, what do you think would be your favorite position? That's gotta be like top 10 things that fits. I'm a texter. You're on delivered? Actually, her to turn my phone, pal. Even adding her on Discord, and this is a rare case where he told her about his streams, and she became a regular appearance on his streams for a while, continuing to talk sexually. They talked all the time. What did you say? He's really attractive, and guys, so I can make up for it. Here you go. V-line. Is there? Is there trust? You'll see it on Snap tonight. I promise. I'm gonna. I'll fly you out, bro. On God, I'm flying you out. Because um, I'm not going to lie, the shit you were uh, saying last night was uh, very, very convincing. What are the odds you would actually let me fly you out? When I'm 18. He knows I'm 17. Why do they know? What do they know what? No, they say you sound like 17 year old which is not true. Oh, yeah, no. I'm trolling, by the way. Just Deleted three chats? What did you delete? Oh, the... Oh, that was... Wait, chat, I'm not... Hopefully this is still in our save. It was something you said. Hold on. You don't care if I show, like... It's just words. It doesn't really matter. Don't stop it! <laughs> Don't be right in the fucking chat! I'm not gonna say what I sent, but uh, you can I fly you out? You know why you can't right now, but it's not legal to say in your chest. Yo! She didn't mean it like that, chat. She's. Why'd you just say that, bro? They're gonna be on my. They're always on your day. Did you be on my day? And if anyone raised any concern about the age, here's his response. Chat, listen, bro. I don't give a f bro. Listen, I'm not promoting anything weird. I'm just saying this, okay? F you, if you think it's weird, you're just a fucking American like hick. Like, on God, you guys are retarded. <laughs> he just. Doesn't care. Chat, bro, she's gone. I'm just gonna, dude. One day, bro, I'm gonna fly her out. You're fucking 
Oh my god. And there's even more examples. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. I'm good. Wow. Like, I, I like you uh, a lot. How old are you? Please be 18 or above. I'm praying. I'm 17. Wait, I'm 20. How old did you say, Ray? I'm 17. Your mic is lagging. How old are you? Oh, I'm, no, I'm, I'm 18. Oh, it worked. You're 18? Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Cool. Uh, so. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Minor, uh, I'm getting to your size, for real. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can I try and guess your size? Okay, go like this. So, can I give you my Snapchat? All right, listen. This is going to be good, okay? You know, high five. I grabbed you. Nigga said, what's the age of consent in Europe and Egypt? I have no idea, bro. Nor do I, uh... Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, all right. You know, I love you, okay? Toodles. I feel like niggas who actively look up the age of consent more than likely have a problem dealing with minors. Like, why do you know the age of consent in... Egypt, why would you need to know how low it is? So if she's not 18, the age of consent doesn't really matter. Like, if she's not 18, it's not even an option. And even then, if she's 18, low key, if you can't drink with me, it's not even really an option. Crazy. She's 18. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't crazy at all. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what you guys are yapping about, to be honest. See, everything about Riot completely baffles me because he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's done. He manipulates these girls to unknowingly do whatever he wants on his streams. And my brain can't wrap can't around. Can't go low, no lower Why than 20. I mean, if it's a super bad bitch and she like 19, I'll knock it down. But cuffing and like actually dealing with you, yeah, we can't. We got to be able to go drink. Like if Lotto was 19, I'm doing it. I don't care. No, no, no. He would do this. And then I remember Ice Spice, doing it, bro. I'm sorry. Listen, can you blame me, bro? Can you blame me? I don't know why niggas is putting question marks. If Ice Spice is 19, I'm doing it, bro. Am I, cuff, am I cuffing Brico? Shut the fuck up. I hate, don't do that, bro. Don't do that, bro. Don't do that, bro. I hate that, bro. Like, it's one thing to say, yo, I don't deal with whatever, cool. But don't sit here and pretend like if 19-year-old Beyonce slid on you, you're not doing it, bro. 19-year-old Ice Spice, 19-year-old Lotto, 19 year old Mariah scientist like what are y'all saying bro would you even be into a lotto if she was her 19 year old self you ain't never seen 19 year old lotto nigga that's a lot of women saying that's a lot of women is crazy that's too young gang i mean i guess to each day home bro stop thinking with your dick bro listen she's 19 she's of age she's a bad bitch she's a bad bitch bro y'all say y'all cool off that but in a certain situation you wouldn't even pay attention bro reminded myself all the evidence is in your VOD. You told me why you do this. You told everyone. In a stream you did with Zerka, who is the most controversial person to work with, but later, in that exact same stream, Zerka added Nick Fuentes. Yes, that Nick Fuentes. But I'm getting sidetracked. In that stream, Zerka asked Riot and his girlfriend, yes, Riot does have a girlfriend. Like, what about like your IRL girlfriend? Actually, like, I'm actually being 100. No, that's the go. The reason I don't like actually like, around with girls or anything is because like, they're actually autistic. Especially the girls that live in my city, bro. They're all copy and paste. But Maxi, bro, from again? I don't know how I don't know how to explain it. Like Maxi's like, bro, she's so funny on God. Maxi, you know how much I like you, right? I can like uh, you know, I like you a lot. Okay. Let me reassure that. A lot, a lot, a lot. It's so weird. We're like it's like he has a what? A girlfriend. Like it's just perfect. No, yeah. Right? Okay. We, we do connect like, really good. The only fing girl I like on this whole entire Snapchat. But in that stream with Zerka, he asked them this. So uh what's your name? Maxi. Mm -hmm. You can call me Mats or Matsy. You're not a cuck, but you let him flirt with other girls? Yeah. Do you, do, you let him, do you let him take other girls? I mean, it's only for business, though. So there's your answer. It's only for business. To them, it's just content. Getting all these girls to do all this stuff for you is just for the business of it. For Riot's content. But does it make it right? No. Not even in the slightest. So you're telling me when Riot goes on Snapchat of all the girls that he's met on Omegle and shows every single photo to his stream and oops, he may accidentally show a nude. You're telling me that's a part of Riot's business? Riot's showing his friends on Discord photos of the girls he's gotten to do stuff with. So you want to see, uh, oh, I got you. This girl's body is ridiculous, bro. Can you yeah. see my phone right now? Yeah. Okay. God damn. Yo. <laughs> Chat on my East yeah, Demon! Not getting crazy. Yo! <laughs> These girls who some don't know were on your Stand streams. Up. But to you, oh, their bodies okay. is your content. And you and your girl know what you're doing. I, you guys just know what you're doing. And the only reason why I'm bringing Ryan's girl why into this is anything? because 
Remember 22, that you know, huh? The 15 year old. Guess who was in a Discord call with him during all of that? I thought you were cool. Not all right. Person. Chad, that's 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 the shit I do for you guys, bro. And you say it like so, like, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, how is there a nice way to say, can I see your tits? Please explain no, it to me, because if there is, no, I would love to know. What do you mean fumble? The chat, did you want me, yes or no? How did I fumble? He like, wanted you. The thing is, bro, that was Loki fucked up. Just telling you. I know it. I, <laughs> she's actually maxi joke. Chat, when she stood up, on God, I didn't even look. And when she was going to flash, on my life, I wasn't even going to look. That's he was like, doing it for you guys. That's weird. Like... Oh my, I swear on everything I love. I'm How? Where is she from? Guys. Even though she's 18, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, right yeah. She knows. Uh -huh. But somehow it's just for the business of doing this kick content, right? Hey, hey man, you surprised white people do degenerate shit to get to the top? Come on, bro. Okay, so this part is being added in because everything that I'm about to tell you happened just a few days ago as of the time of this video going live. Now, this next part needs a little bit of context, so bear with me here. So, Brian has another content creator friend named Citrus. He connected with this girl on Omegle and got her to expose herself. But she didn't know that she was on his live stream. A clip of her ended up on Twitter. And Citrus's audience found any information they could gather to spread this video to people close to this girl. And it affected her. All I'm gonna say is that because of Citrus and Citrus's fans having that video get uploaded to Twitter of her exposing herself, it took a toll on her. She's already in a vulnerable state. So what I'm about to show you is Citrus and Riot fully manipulating that for content. So let's cut to a few months later, after the whole Citrus situation. Riot connected with this girl on Omegle and got her to flash. And then- Again? No, I, I swear to God, I'm not. And you keep looking that way. No, yeah, I have another monitor. I'm, I'm watching uh, YouTube. All right, bro, I can't, bro. I, it hurts lying, bro. I'm a streamer, but I swear to God, I hit it when you showed your all my life, I swear to God. Do you know who Citrus is? Cause he's in my chat right now saying he knows you. Yeah. Wait, what's your- Freaking exposed me. Citrus! Well, he did tell me that oh. he was streaming and Apparently, the viewers were posting me on Twitter and to my family. Oh, sh they found. So your family found out about it. Not victim blaming by any means, but your family found out about it and you did it again. Found your family. Mm-hmm. Is this a bad time to ask this? He then proceeded to get her in a group Discord call with Citrus so that he can apologize for the Twitter incident. But must we forget, they're kick streamers. So we know the real reason why they got her in that group chat. I just want to say, like, <laughs> when I first saw, like, your I didn't expect it, like, <laughs> to be that amazing. And my chat was in love the same as I was. And I just kept hyping it up even though I shouldn't, you know? I should have told you I was live. That was f***ed up of me. not fun when all your viewers were just threatening me and they also brought in my dad. Yo, you guys are deep in not nah, AR loyals are fucked. I think he's apologizing for his chat. Yeah, I, I am apologizing for my chat. And and me myself, I did a mistake too. You know? Holy <laughs> so do you accept my apology? It might just take me some time because it was really hard. But for them, this is just content. So they're gonna milk it for all it's worth. I, I'm sure nothing like that will ever happen again. Right, Citrus? Yeah, I know. But I have a question. You know, when we met, I wasn't going to the gym. But do you think like anything changed? I mean, look at me laughing. Like I won't stick my dick between those big ass. My fault, my fault, my fault. I will fly you out if you are down to do an IRL stream with me in person. I will fly you out to Miami. Except the flight. Except, say yes, I am down to come to Miami. Oh, I have a good idea. Would you want to play strip Fortnite? Every kill I get, you remove one clothing. Why don't you make an no OF? Thanks. You would make so much money. Let me put you on. I will make you rich. All my life, I will. You would make it back. You would Let's make it talk bag. about it. I will manage your OS. You know, you would be making at least twenty thousand dollars a month off of me. Are you wearing like what are you wearing right now? Can we see the outfit. Can I see him again? Uh, sorry, I just have like short term memory loss. I'll hide the screen right now if you show us. This is a lie. Citrus only fully covered two of the seven times they pushed her to do suggestive stuff on stream, and Riot only fully covered four of the seven times. And Citrus's audience were clipping and saving portions of the entire stream. I'll hide my two. Hold on one second. Black screen right now. Let them out. And after she does, Citrus adds his friends to the call. Yo, yo, yo hey, I don't, hey, no questions asked. Show them. Show them to my boy. Hold on. Let, Let her in. Let her in. She has a her. Show us. Yeah, can we see her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. We just want to see it. How we learn is like visual instruction. Can I see her arch? And when this girl found out that these streamers were not covering the screen when she was exposing herself again, therefore causing Citrus's fans to be clipping portions from this stream to post online all over again. She talked about unaliving herself and this is how they react to that no i did on, on god i did oh, ggs uh ggs who the f snitched never weird that. kid bro I just don't want to go through that again no i understand you just don't have to just don't give them Yo. the attention like that's all they want yeah it's just <sighs> yeah she's gonna f herself okay can i see you smile please for me a smile just a quick smile should i tip her bro is that 
Just be like, yo, wait, can I just send you money and you just forget about it? Wait, type in one if you guys think she'll actually do it. Put it to. Can I tip her, bro? So basically, like always, niggas are trying to buy their way out of their problems, bro. She was talking about unaliving herself, and bro was like, you know what? Let me give her money so that way she doesn't do it. I ain't gonna lie, the world gives the worst. I don't think we should test the limits, of course, but like. Look at me. You hear me? No. Drop your phone down. Stop going through these messages because that's what's ruining your mood. That's not what's ruining her mood. She wouldn't be getting these messages. She wouldn't be getting these threats. None of this would have happened if it wasn't for Citrus and Riot and, yes, other kick streamers who fully manipulated her without her knowing that she was on a live stream. Mentally, you need to jump over those obstacles and be the best. You are the best. You can't let no one stop you. You are the f***ing queen. Do you hear me? And people love you. People care about you. Yo. You have your own book, and there's gonna be a happy ending at the end. I know oh. it. Yeah, we're. Don't say that. Yo. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This was a crazy roller coaster, bro. No way you guys are putting bets on if she. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yo, this is. This is like side watch, not an eating. Everyone has a reason to be alive. Everyone has a purpose on this earth. So you have a purpose on this earth. We are gonna make it out using somebody and then sitting here talking about some. You have a purpose on this earth is fucking insane, bro. And we're gonna be. The best, all right? Say that. We're going to be the best. Say the best. What's your dream? I actually want to know. What's your dream? He might be cooking. What do you want to do, like, in life? I just want to be a mom. Hmm. You want to be a mom already? You want to be a mom. You want to be a mom. What if I make you a mom? My chat says, get her pregnant. They physically cannot turn off the content side of their brain. They always feel the need to entertain and feed into the chat. You want to be a mom? I got you. I got you right here. You want to be a mom, right? You have a lot to live for. You got a lot of good traits and everything, you know... Don't don't make a rational decision. You, you know you're definitely gonna regret or irrational. Well, sorry. You shouldn't have made me show off my face. Uh, what you're thinking is definitely not the answer. You know, don't be scared to like reach out. And here, I'll DM you my number right now. You should never be in that state of mind. Um, okay. Sorry, you're still very young. Why is Long she hanging up yet? Because she's being manipulated, bro. And who knows? She's probably in a vulnerable mental state, and it's she, that's the only attention she gained, and a whole lot of who knows. You know, don't don't think like that. You know. Sorry, you, you just lagged. What'd you say? When she's talking about the problems that she's going through in her life, her story. Riot says this. When you drive someone to consider death as an option, I think it's time to reevaluate the content that you're making. And I highly think Kick should reevaluate the creators that they're platforming. Because if they don't, something devastating could happen. What they were doing is so awful that I couldn't just stand by and just let that happen. So I reached out to her while this was all happening. And then she added me to the call. Now, I by no means am a skilled debater. And I really don't think I did too well, to be honest. However, it didn't stop these streamers from showing their true colors. Hey. Hey. Who's this? I just have a question for you guys. What? Who's this? I'm scared. Whatever's happening. What you mean, who's this? I'm scared. Nigga, you know who that is. Right now? Nigga, is you, beyond... know, you know who that is, nigga. That's yo Chris Hansen, nigga. Don't say, who's this? I'm scared. You know who that is, nigga. Hey, yo Chris Hansen, boy. And messed up. Uh -huh. That's his Batman, nigga. The Dark Knight has arrived. On so many levels. Did I not have a fool on straight on serious combo with her? Did you, did you not see that part? My chat. Who's this nigga yelling at? was saying, oh, have her do it, have her do it. If I was egging it on by the- Citrus, Citrus. Bro, was Citrus not the nigga who managed uh, SSB? Am I tripping? I swear I know this Citrus nigga name from somewhere, bro. Get yeah, Aiden mod. Chat, I would say, oh, do it, do it, just to get the laughs. But guess what? I talked to her. I fucking spoke deep with her. Everyone has a reason to be alive. Everyone has a purpose on this earth. You want to be a mom? What if I make you a mom? My chat says, get her pregnant. You talked about managing her- Pants. Okay, I'm a businessman and she was down. Let me manage her. What's wrong with that? Trust me. I'm not getting Bro. It. Leave. Yeah. Everyone go spam, leave. We were fixated on bringing her out to Miami. Okay, guess what? I'm not actually bringing her out to Miami. She got, she gets happy. Then why did you say all that? Oh my God. So why what? Did you say all if that? I was being serious, I'm weird. If I was lying, I'm weird. So what do you want, kid? What makes you happy? Look at you. Miles Morales. You are making a fool of yourself. Thanks for the roses. Thank you. Thanks for the roses. Oh, I can't use that right now. Thanks for the roses. <laughs> um, Ice cream so good. Thanks for the roses. I get that you're a content creator and your job is to entertain. But in a situation right now, I really don't think you should be entertaining people. Bro. You're the one who 
I'm gonna be the good person here. Him, you know what? Let me get the W's. I want to get the views, not him. I'm pointing out a problem here with kick content. Thanks for the roses. What's the problem? Thanks for Wait, the roses. what happened? Thanks for the roses. You, hey, you want a box, bro? You, you want to make money off this? Let's let's talk money. No, we talking money now. You you know what? This is gonna go. He wants the box. On behalf of my brother, if he don't want to get in the ring, Aiden, I do it for him. I'll box Citrus. I'm not gonna lie, TK, you actually gotta do it. Why not? He wanna box somebody. I don't think this nigga likes to box anybody. I'll box Citrus for the kicks and giggles. You feel me? It's just what it is, bro. W bag chasing, that's a sack. But like, for real though, like if bro, cause he's like, you wanna box? All right, boom. I'll box Citrus for this nigga. Viral. Let's box. Let's make it more viral. Let's make money. So no, because that's a low. In my in my opinion, that's a low in content. No, it's not. It's it's just to get money. Like, do you not like money, bro? You saw the part where I yo something about chickens. I understand this nigga been talking crazy, my brother. It's Black History Month. I stand with you. You shall be the knowledge that lays down justice on these Yakubians. I shall be the hands. It was serious talking about her. Wasn't looking at chat, wasn't saying anything, wasn't laughing. How you were talking about how you take her out on a date and fly her out to Miami multiple times, yeah. Bro, you were watching the sure. end of it. When she was smiling and stuff and saying she was down. Of course. Of course he left. <laughs> nice. He left. Oh, no, why'd you remove him? him? Why'd you, why'd you kick him? Yeah, well, hey, dude, you're fried if you think saying that call was a good idea. I don't give a fuck, bro. Also, just minutes after this stream, he paid a Twitter account to post a very positive and totally not fake story about him paying for four people's college debt. Even if this story is real, charity is a good thing in general, but not when it's used as good PR to distract from you making a girl want to unalive herself. But let's check out Riot Yo, TK, you could be the him. next night. I'm in it for the sack, bro. After everything that took place, TK Riot lose. celebrated that <laughs> Nigga, I lose. They gonna, they gonna play the. He gonna walk out to the uh, Uncle Ruckus music. Dream. Put a one in the chat if you were here for last night's stream. Let me know. Oh my god, last night's stream was crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Buddy, that shit was crazy. Yeah, last night's stream was crazy. Uh, shout out to the boy Citrus. Uh, we 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 set up a fucking content factory last night. That was that was crazy. <laughs> oh, I'm about to get locked up. Oh. Nah, kidding, kidding, kidding. You see what I mean? He called the entire Coco situation with that girl a content Dollar factory. And then hours later, like during that exact same stream, he gets a donation by one of the founders of Kick. Everyone keeps mentioning Riot Law. Yeah, yeah, what is this? He trolls. So you can swear Eddie's here. Yo! Yo! Holy f Oh my god, Eddie, bro! Eddie, bro! Holy sh no fing way! Alright, big chat the right one. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's so funny. No, no, not sure if I quite love you, man, but Eddie! Eddie, it's Black History Month, bitch. I've been on kick. Where my love at, nigga? I've been on kick, Eddie. Where my love at, nigga? It's Black History Month. What you did for a brother this month? Hmm? Matter of fact, clip this shit. Everybody DM this motherfucker to, uh, uh, what's that nigga name? Dexterous? Victorious? Dexter, Dexter, whatever the fuck that nigga name is. Hey, Eddie, if you really are about Kick being the best platform you think it is, how come a nigga ain't getting no love for Black History Month? Hmm? Hmm? Help a brother out. And it better not be no little honey that you gave this nigga all the trials and tribulations my people done went through for your people, and you can't help a brother out a little bit? Come on, man. I know Kick got it. The old nigga's like a little 4K gifted, nigga. Pay for my college tuition, nigga. I ain't even in school. Fuck it. I love the enthusiasm. It's legend. I wonder how he would feel about donating to Riot if he knew the situation that happened just a day before. But if we've learned anything from the Ice Poseidon situation that happened a few months ago on Kick, something tells me he wouldn't care. And that's the problem with Kick. Do you understand how... Illegal. Can I get 20? Whoa. This is. So I don't know how to process that Kick is allowing this. He's a verified account. How is this content 18 plus when the people Riot are talking to aren't even 18 plus? So this is his content. I'm shirtless. Your shirt is on. This is a really tough situation, you know? I could have got that to do everything. Chat like everything, bro. This is his humor. Like to make a joke about like someone beating women? Like you know, that's weird. Stop being soft, bro. It's a f joke. This is his personality. How many tattoos do you have? What's your favorite one? My ring. Can I see it? Okay. Why'd you get it? It symbolizes the survivors. So it's old. Yeah. It's okay. You can laugh. That's how I call it. You know, I usually just come with like, surveying, but like, 
I mean, like, one's slightly above the other. Wait, you gotta... All right. Wait, you, Jim? Bro, me and you should get some cardio in. How many potties do you have? I'm just out of curiosity. I didn't mean to say that. Like, your teeth look really nice. The conversation. I'm sorry, dude. Yo. Oh, my God. Hey, crazy. Bro, that girl just told you she was a sexual assault survivor, and your next question was, how many bodies do you have? Wait, was it? Oh, God. Wait, your mic was lagging. Repeat that. That's literally what you... And he's got all of his friends and even Kick backing him up. So, Riot, this is my question to you. Do any of the girls that you've met on Omegle and ended up adding on Snapchat, do any of them know? Do any of them know about your streams? Do any of them from the NSFW channel know? I think I know the answer, and I know you do too. Shame on you. Shame, Shame on, on the white man. Shame on any one of his friends that knew about you and your content and still let it slide. But will anything happen? The sad part is probably not because to all these shameful kick creators, well, it's only for business though. Content. All the money this video makes from monetization will go to safe from online sex abuse or Sosa. We fuck with that. Shit. Yeah. There you go.